Hello friends, this is Dr. Antoine, your coach in that analysis using R2. Um, I have a PhD in international entrepreneurship. I'm the general director of Elan Consult, a company which was created in 2011. This company is specialized in capacity building, auditing, accounting, taxation, uh, strategic planning, data analysis, and strategic making. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can weight criteria. If you remember in the previous vid videos, I have presented a decision matrix, but the weight were given. But the question that you may have is that how these weights were calculated? Which method was used to calculate this weight? This is the kind of question I'm going to answer in this video. I'm going to show you how you can weight criteria. Because if you have seen my, previ my previous videos, the way you make weight calculation can affect the way you decide, the way you, the way you select the best alternative. That's why it is better to show you the process or different ways, different ways of weight calculation. To make this presentation, I'm going to show you a, a, an article which was published, which uh, contains all methods I'm talking about. It is this article, and I, I will give you the link of this article. In this article, uh, you will find explained the method. All methods are explained in this article, and it is this article that I used to make this presentation. And when you look, for instance, at uh, page uh, three, here, you will see uh, weighting methods are classified in, in three groups, subjective weighting methods, objective weighting methods, and integrated weighting methods. Where is, or what is the difference between subjective weighting methods and objective weighting methods? Subjective weighting methods are influenced by the appreciation of human being, but in objective weighting method, there is no influence of human um, uh, evaluation or human appreciation. Because weights here in objective weighting methods will be calculated based on the data or the result of the analysis or, or the, the evaluation. There is no interference of human in weight calculation. Now, as you can see here, in subjective weighting, met, weighting methods, we have a point allocation, direct rating, ranking method, pairwise comparison, comparison ratio, ratio method, swing method, Delphi method, nominal group technique, simple multi attribute rating, technique smart. In objective weighting methods, you see we have entropy method, Criteria important through inter criteria, criteria correlation, mean, mean weights, standard deviation, statistical variance procedure, ideal point method. In integrated weighting method, we have multiplication synthesis, additive synthesis, and uh, optimal weighting based on sum of squares, or optimal weighting based on rational coefficient of graduation. You see, friends, here we have many methods, and all these methods, some of these methods are explained. And I'm going to show you how you can use some of these methods. And you, are, you will be free to choose the method you can use, which can uh, be based on your case. Now I'm going to see all these, some of these methods are explained, and there are even some examples that can help you uh, to understand. Uh, the way these methods are used. Okay, friends, now let's go um, in this. We see first point allocation or direct assignment method. It is one of these methods I have presented, I have shown in this article. If this method consists of giving, allocating one point among criteria, and the difficulty, as stated by this author, the author, is that when you have many criteria, uh, it will be difficult to to understand or to know in which way you can allocate points. But suppose that we have here uh, eight criteria, 
this is criteria. This is my decision matrix. These are criteria. For instance, when you want to uh, to uh, to select a supplier, you have this is uh, when you remember here in our matrix here uh, when you have the. Uh, um, a criteria like this, quality, condition, security, deliver days, to what deliver days here, uh, fuel consumption, this is the price. And you, if we went here, we want, what we want is to calculate the weight of these, these criteria. And as you can see here, the author says that you can, you ask, you ask writers to give at each criteria points but the sum of the points that will be allocated for all criteria will sum up 100. Or this data, data will give 10 points for delivery days, and this point for after sale service, 40 for price, quality 10, availability of the product uh, 15, Conditions, payment condition, five, warranty, six, image, or reputation of the, uh, the company, four, and so on and so on. Now, the sum, as you can see here, the sum must be 100. Let's check. I will show you. Uh, I make some of these values here like this. Like this, you can see, as you can see, it is 100. I, I copy the formula. I can see here it is 100. The second rate, uh, rate or examinator or analyst gives this point among these criteria. Fed these points and so on. But um, I want to show you how I calculated these weights. These weights. Now, as you can see, each criteria has its own total points. Each criteria has total points. And we really make the submission of all these, these points. And this submission will help us to make weight calculation or weight normalization. It is this submission like this. This total, this total will allow us to make uh, weight normalization. As you can see here, we take this point to normalize our uh, to normalize our uh, points. Or, uh, yeah, I take this point divided by the sum of this this sum. But this must be fixed like this. Press F4, and I can copy this formula. You see the formula here. I can copy down the formula. Now, friends, I have all weight. These are the weight for each criteria. As you can see, price has this weight, 30, uh, 0.35, and so on. But the sum of all the weights must be 1. This is the first method. The second method here, it is ratio weighting method. In this method, the, uh, we will choose the least important criteria, the least important criteria. And you, other criteria will get multiple of 10. The least important raters will change, each rater will choose the least important, and they will give for all other, other criteria the multiple of 10. For instance, if you see here, friends, for instance, this is the first rater or examinator gave, gave, gives or gave, gave or gives 10. Consider the least important criteria image. This one consider the service after SAR, the after SAR service. This one a guarantee. This uh, this evaluator consider guarantee as a least a least important important. This one consider payment condition as least important payment condition. And this one consider image at least important and all other criteria remaining criteria will get multiple of 10 because this is the least important as you can see here this is 10 multiplied by 1.5 1.5 multiplied 10 multiplied by 2 by 3 and so on now 
we will do the same, the summation of the points for each criteria. Like this, friends. Sum could be sum in English or English uh, computer, laptop. This is sum. And then I copy this formula for all criteria here. To get this total sum, just is the summation of all these sum like this of the all these points. Then the next step is to, cal to calculate normalized weight. This is normalized weight. Normalized weight. I take this point divided by this total, this one, this total. But I have to fix this uh, point like this, total like this, so as to copy down the formula. Okay, friends. Okay. Now, with this method, with this method, the ratio weighting method, now we have points or weights for each criteria. Now, it come, uh, let's see the last method, which is called the simple multi attribute rating techniques math. And as you can see, I'm just following uh, the step indicated in this article that I'm just using to show you uh, some method that can be used to make weight calculation. And as you can see, this method was proposed by Edward in 1971, as it is uh, indicated or cited in this article. And as the method, as you can see here, in smart method, it is described as a process of rate, uh, rating of alternatives and weighting criteria. In this method, decision maker is asked to rank the criteria in terms of the importance from worst to best. Worst to best. The least importance a criteria is assigned 10 points while the most important criteria is given 100 points with an increasing number of points are assigned to the uh, other criteria according to uh, the importance. The criteria weight can be calculated by normalizing the sum of the points. Now I'm going to show you the process of this method. And as you can see here, they will learn, establish reference attribute, estimate the importance of, of other attributes with respect to uh, the reference attribute, and then weights are calculated and finally we will calculate weights. And as you can see here, these are uh, the ranking, the ranking of each decision maker here. And as you can see here, uh, for instance, this uh, decision maker has, give, has given five points uh, for this criteria. This is delivery days. Uh, two points for service after sir, uh, eight points. This means this is the most important, and this means, for instance, this is the, the least important. The image is the least important. And now, how I found this this the total? Just I use the function sum from Excel like this, friends, and I just uh, just make the summation of this series, and then I copy this formula. Then I will use function lang. I use the function lang. Then I use the function length to link these um, these points or this criteria. Link this this one or like this, and I copy. I show the mat the matrix where for my my criteria. I press F four, and then I press F four like this, friends. Then I copy like this. No, 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 sorry. I have to indicate the, that it is, the rank is decreasing like this, or increasing like this, friends. Okay, now I press enter. Now I can do like this. Now, as you can see, the most important criteria is price. The least important criteria is uh, image and what is next it is here I will uh, assign 10 points and this for this most important criteria I will assign 100 as it is indicated in this paragraph like this friends this one 
And now, now I'm going to do like that. Means it is decision makers who will do in such a way. It's not me, just I'm just explaining how we can use this method. Now, suppose that they have done like this, and this is, this is the sum of all these points. This is the sum, summation of all these points. Then I copy down this formula like this, friends, like this. And this is the summation of all these points. Look, for instance, I like I sum like this. Then what I need to do is to just to copy these values so as to make normalization of our our weights like this friend i just copy these values here uh, like this then i will divide or each point by this total this one this total it is like this friends so it is like this i take this value divided by this total but I have to, to fix this F4 just I need to, to cut down this formula like this and the summation the summation of this point must be equal to 1 like this friends okay now it's okay now this these are the weights for this criteria Okay, friends, as you can see now here, the, the weights are influenced by um, decision maker assessment or appraisal or uh, a judgment. But in, uh, but in objective weighting method, there is no influence of um, decision makers. And the next video will show you how you can use objective weighting method to calculate weights for each criteria. Okay, friends, this is the end of my presentation. If you liked this video, you can share it and subscribe to my channel not to miss the next videos. Thank you for your attention. Bye.